have I known that music is what I always wanted to do? No, I have not always known. As a young child, I wanted to do a lot of different things. I wanted to be a, a fashion designer. I wanted to be a fashion model. I wanted to be a photographer. I wanted to do anything that brought me joy at the moment. The reason why I continued to push myself in growing as a musician was through my education. I started taking one-on-one -on -one voice lessons or private voice lessons when I was uh, 19 and my teacher at the time, Canadian soprano Barbara Frizz, towards my last couple of lessons, we had worked together for about a year and a half and she helped me to apply for universities for classical voice programs and she told me that I could have a career in this and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like I don't know what that means at all and she's like yeah I think you could I think you could do this and I was like okay sure so I just I, I went to York University and I studied with Stephanie Bogle and she also told me that I could potentially go to the Glenn Gould School and I could work there and continue to to grow and to be better and then I went to the Glenn Gould School and I was given a lot of opportunities to to perform and to grow and to continue to learn. And at the Glenn Gould School, I built a lot of positive relationships that helped me to transition out of school into the professional world. And it's been all about education and I think the motivation for me to learn and to grow that has helped me to spark my career and to, to keep moving forward. And I think that's something that I say to myself a lot is just to keep moving forward and continue to want to learn more. And as I continue to want to learn more about my voice and how to, to, to be a better singer, it has allowed me to have the opportunities that I've had and to work with the amazing people that I've worked for and with.